Does back-end development pay more salary than front-end development? I got asked a similar question on one of my recent YouTube videos where someone was like, does technical writing pay more than front-end development? I decided to twist this question around by using back-end and front-end. And the answer I'll be giving in this video actually touches more than back-end and front-end. You can apply this to comparisons between roles like product design, UI, UX, DevOps, as many as there are in tech. And to give a quick answer to this question, I personally do not think that on a general scale, one role pays more than the other. For me, I think there are several factors that determines which one pays more salary and I will be explaining these different factors in this video. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dillion and on my YouTube channel, I share tips and lessons from my career experiences and my life experiences. If these are the kind of videos you'd love to see on your YouTube feed or get notifications about then please hit the subscribe button. Like I said, I personally think that there are several factors that determines whether one role pays more salary than the other. I'll be sharing three of those factors in this video. The first factor is the number of years of experience. For example, somebody with five years of experience in front-end development can be earning more than somebody with two years of experience in back-end development, be it in the same company or in different companies. The same thing applies vice versa. Somebody with three years of back-end development experience can be earning more than somebody with one year or two years of front-end development experience. Same company or different company. The second factor is also the expected responsibilities. Let's say a front-end person and a back-end person, they have maybe three years of experience. They are working either in the same company or in different companies. If the front-end person is required to do more work than maybe a basic front-end person will be required to do, they may be earning more salary than a back-end person who is just doing basic back-end stuff. Same thing, vice versa. If a backend person is doing more stuff than the basic backend person should be doing, they could actually be earning more salary for those more responsibilities than what uh, a front-end person who does the basics is doing or should be doing. I don't know how to put that correctly. But you can see that the expected responsibilities of these different roles can also determine what the salary offer would be. And that's why maybe you have had something like this where they say if you feel like you're doing more work than you're being paid for, then you can request for a raise of salary. You can see that because your responsibilities are increasing, then you can demand more. So that's the second factor. And the third factor also depends on the companies. For example, let's say a start up is hiring a front-end developer and let's say Gogu is hiring a technical writer. Maybe you may feel like technical writing is not as much as front-end development, but because of this company names and how much they can offer for such roles, the person doing technical writing, maybe with two years of experience, can even be earning more than the person doing front-end development with maybe three years of experience. Also, maybe a product designer in Facebook or a product designer at, um, you can think of any of these big companies, they could be earning more than what the back-end developer is doing in a different company. So the companies that are also hiring such employees can also determine what person A in company A would be earning more than or lesser than person B in company B. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think that on a general scale, one role pays more than the other. I think all roles in tech are interesting. They all have their adventures. They all have their beautiful parts. They all have their fulfilling parts, the satisfying part and the financial part. I just believe that there are different factors just like I have highlighted in this video that can influence or determine what one person at one company will be earning compared to another person. But I'd love to hear your thoughts also. Let me know in the comments what you think about this if maybe you feel that one actually pays more than the other. I would love to hear that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and also share this video with other people who may benefit from what I have shared. Peace.